first off, congratulations on your premiere last night. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're really looking forward to the show over here. Um, first question is, what is it uh, that attracted you to this project and your roles in particular? The script. Uh, the script was just so, so funny and uh, the pedigree of the people behind it. Mike O'Brien such a genius comedian and writer. Uh, he created the show and then, of course, uh, having Seth Meyers and Lauren Michaels there to protect it. And uh, yeah, it was, it was too good to say no. Yeah, it was the same thing when I heard that Mike O'Brien had written the script. I was such a fan of his. And then yeah. I knew that Seth and Lauren were going to be shepherding it through, so they're going to protect his weirdness. And then, so I knew all that before even reading the script. I'm like, oh, they let him be Mike O'Brien, so this is a yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just want to see this, see how they do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing it, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so both of you guys are really experienced writers in comedy, too. What is it like shifting from being a writer and kind of like, you know, running a project as opposed to just acting and starring in it? Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's great to not have to <laughs> not have to do it myself. It's great. <laughs> it's nice to read a great script and be like, oh, I don't have to do anything. I just yeah. have to show up and be funny. That's that. That's awesome. Uh, you know, and again, when you've got such brilliant minds behind it, you can trust that you're being well taken care of on the script side. I mean, for me, uh, it was a huge relief. And yeah, and, and it also helps just as a writer, when you read something that's better than something you would normally come up with and write, it just makes you, like, if you can recognize, oh, all I gotta do is read this scene. Yeah. I don't need to add it, I don't gotta put my fingerprints on it. This is great. That's also like, it, it's like you, you, it's like you, a free comedy clinic every week. <laughs> it's really cool. That's awesome. Um, so both of you guys have a lot of experience with sort of like darker and satirical type comedy. What is it about that specific genre of comedy that keeps bringing you back? Well, for me, because it it, it, it cleaves a little closer to real life, because real life is basically, there's a lot of darkness that we're trying to cope with by making jokes about it. Um, so this show, and especially high school, is just a such a pressure cooker for not only the kids that are being put through it, but the adults. That are, so there's everyone's maybe not at their best, and then finding those little grace moments, you know, the, the show does brilliantly. Yeah, and, and it's one of the things I love about Mike's show, is that it, it has that that social commentary. Uh, it's his, you know, skewed take on what it's like to go through high school, but it's not a cynical show. My character is a cynical character, but M Mike brings this, like, positivity and this optimism. It, it's, it's this interesting mix of dark comedy, but from these, like, really sweet, Kid. Like, my character is really the only cynical character on the show. Everybody else is, like, sweet, and life is hard, but I don't know. He's created a really interesting world here. Um, satire is important to me for the exact same reason as what Patton said, too. I, I have to do it just because it's the only release valve I have for the anger I feel at what's going on in the world. And okay, that's enough. I'm so anyway, angry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so no angry. Next, okay, right. next question, please. <laughs> that's actually all the time we have. But thank oh. you guys so much. Oh, and thank we really God. look forward to the show. Thank God. Oh, man, we almost got canceled there. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> no, don't take that back. Thank you guys again.